Today on Made to Hack, I go a little bit overboard. Okay, I've recently purchased a whole bunch of different tools. Um, actually, not all recently, some along the way. I didn't buy this all at once, not a crazy person. But essentially, I bought all of these at uh, a supermarket. And here in the EU, there's a uh, discount supermarket chain that rhymes with the word Fleetle. And every once in a while, they uh, sell, well, tools, essentially. And the way they do it is they'll set up in the middle of the store a few aisles where you generally find maybe some clothing or perhaps uh, homewares. And every so often they'll sell a certain amount of tools. I, I guess it's maybe for the guys that are in the store so that they have something to maybe buy or look at while shopping with the family. Every once in a while they'll go on uh, different uh, types of tools like you might have once they might go with like pneumatics like this air stapler this air impact wrench uh, air die grinder they might even sell the compressor and the the hose fittings to go with it sometimes it might be a cordless screwdriver like in this case or i don't know randomly a gas soldering iron set sometimes it's more hobby related like this uh, rotary uh, tool uh, maybe something from the home, like a heat gun, electric nail stapler, routers for DIY, another die grinder that's electric. And uh, now the the brand that they sell uh, rhymes with Dark Side. Of course, they're not paying us, so we're not going to put up their brands. And uh, the hand tools are something fix. So... I don't know how it is in North America if, if uh, supermarkets sell tools. I don't know if is Walmart a supermarket. I, well, I guess they probably sell tools, but I don't know. Safeway, is that a supermarket? Do they sell tools? I don't know. Uh, but here at this discount supermarket chain that rhymes with Flittle, they, they, every once in a while they'll probably have a, a few container loads come in from China with whatever tool is the flavor of the week at, at that point. So uh, they generally are cheap if you will insofar as price goes i mean i don't think anything here is over 30 euros uh probably the air impact wrench is like 30 35 i think this was like 35 euros maybe at most generally they're like maybe 25 euros that was like 20 euros that's kind of the range of the tools granted if you buy like the compressor which i don't have here i think that was over 100 euros um and sometimes they'll have like larger saws or miter saws or things that might exceed 50, 60, 100 euros, but um, I'm sure that all of these are essentially come from the same factory that does uh, Chinesium goods, so it's probably the same manufacturer that does the uh, the home brands or the, the, the private labels for every big box store uh, probably everywhere in the world, so you know, it comes in one end of the factory is <laughs> different logos, different labels for whoever uh, it's got the the cash to uh, to spend on them. So, aside from that, I don't know anything about uh, tools insofar as what makes a quality tool. If you're interested in something like that, or to see somebody take apart tools and analyze them, there's a uh, Canadian individual. I believe he's an Arduino expert. I think he uses Arduino to ward off evil. So. Um, check out his channel I'll link it up somewhere taking tools apart and testing them and he smells them looks inside them and tells you if they're any good granted those are larger brands but I'm just gonna go with these um, supermarket tools I'll call them and see if they're any good or if they do what they say so this new series this new segment I guess we'll call uh, I don't know cheap tools that I bought at the supermarket or supermarket tool reviews or uh, cheap supermarket tools dash r type r r spec gtr nismo jdm i don't know we'll figure out what i'll call it i'll try to do one a week not super spammy and um you know the reason i'm hiding all the labels is hey they're not paying us so why should we uh, put out their names granted if the people at the store that rhymes with fleetle are listening and uh, 
they want to throw some money away, hint hint. What I'm saying is, we could be bought. We'll sell out, doesn't matter, we'll remove the labels, and they want to throw money our way. If not, we'll just pretend that the brand is called Dark Side, and uh, you know, we'll see how well these work. I'm rather excited for the this particular one to review this cordless screwdriver, because if you look at it, it looks like the Bosch PSR, but it's got the attachments that seem to be like the Bosch Ixo, which I reviewed, and I'll link that, so... This one, I can't wait to see this one, um, see if they're any good. Uh, I take it that it probably comes from the exact same factory that made the Bosch ones, except maybe Bosch had to deal with them so that... Although it looks like a PSR can't function with the adjustable uh, tips, maybe. Some kind of exclusivity. I mean, granted, I'm pretty sure all of these are, as I said, made in the same Chinese factory and... Uh, come out one end in blue, red, white, green, this kind of green, another kind of green. And uh, yeah, well, uh, we'll see uh, how good these are, if they're any good, and uh, some of the accessories that you could also pick up for a few euros here and there. So um, anyway, stay tuned for the uh, totally unprofessional reviews coming up in this channel, and uh, well, uh, listen to somebody that has no idea what they're talking about, talk about tools so um, anyway thanks for watching check you soon hey thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel also make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever i post a new video if you like what you saw hit that like button as well